Hey friends! So welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have another Halloween DIY for you guys. And we are going to be using some apples. So let me show you guys the supplies for this DIY. So we're going to be needing some apples. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. These are $10.99, but I picked them up when they were 50% off. And you get, let's see, two, four, six apples. But, you know, if you don't want to go get that, you can get you can get the apples from Dollar Tree. See, I have some of these apples from Dollar Tree. We're going to be making some Disney-inspired caramel apples. So, and they're going to be fake however you want to call them so we're going to be needing some of this styrofoam this comes with three little tubes of styrofoam and they're five dollars but um, you don't have to use this if you don't want to um, these are going to be for my Mickey ears and so you can also use cardboard or anything else but I wanted to use these so we're going to be using these we're also going to be using some foam sheets from the Dollar Tree. We're also going to need paints. And I'll show you the paints as I go through some of these uh, apples that I'm making. We're going to need glitter. I have some of this glitter from the Dollar Tree. But I also have this one from Walmart. This orange one. Um, like I said, paints. You're going to need puffy paints. Um, I got this one here from Hobby Lobby. We're going to need a glue gun, and you're also going to need some of these caramel apple sticks. I picked these up at Dollar Tree for $1. We're also going to need some steel oats. This is going to be our nuts. Instead, I see a lot of people that they buy the um, corn cob bedding at the PetSmart and stuff. That's pretty expensive, and I mean, you get a really big bag. For this, I picked up at my local supermarket and I bought this for $2 and this is 28 ounces. It, it looks like, um, it looks like nuts. So we're going to be using that. And then I may add some whipped cream to some of them, to some of my caramel apples. So I'm going to be using some of this spackle and I got this spackle at home, home Depot. Yes. Home Depot. And I also have my pipe, my piping bags, and then my, my Wilton 1M tip. I also have some of these little like fake, these are, see these, these are just like little fake, uh, marshmallows that I made with just regular clay that I bought. Let me show you the clay that I bought. So this is the clay that I bought at Walmart, as you guys can see. And I just made those marshmallows and I even made a big marshmallow. This one's still drying. And all it is, is just making your little shape of your marshmallow and letting those dry. Like I said, I will show you guys the, um, as I go along with each apple, what I'm using. So we also can use some of these little, I got these at Walmart there. This is the package and they're just little buttons with different little zoomies, zoom zooms mickey and stuff i'm going to show you one of the apples that i did and this is the apple that i made you will see it better i know the lighting is terrible right now but the lighting i promise will get better so this is one of the ones that i made you're also going to need ribbon so you can tie a little ribbon on there okay so i believe these are all the supplies that we're going to need so let's get started with this diy so let's begin with the lightweight clay that's what this is here it is mo mode light that i picked up at walmart it is really soft it's not like a hard clay but um it'll work for what we're going to use it and as you can see it kind of looks like a marshmallow when you melt the marshmallows you see that how it looks so i'm going to show you guys how i did the small little marshmallows so let me close that up so it doesn't dry. I just got a tiny little piece of the clay and I'm just going to use this plastic so it doesn't stick. And I'm just making a little ball, trying to smooth it out. And then once we get our little ball, then I just start to shape it. I shape it like a little marshmallow. I'm just trying to make it look like a little marshmallow. This is if you want to add marshmallows. There is one of my little marshmallows right there. 
and so I'll put that to dry and then you just let those dry I'm going to say maybe 24 to 48 hours so they can dry these have been out here for 48 hours now and they feel fine they still feel soft they feel squishy but they're dry so that's how long mine have been drying these little ones for 48 hours and then the big one here has been drying for uh, 24 hours but you can still feel it sticky in the bottom so that's why I said maybe 24 to 48 hours depending so let's cut our Mickey ears so I got one of these round styrofoam tubes out and I'm gonna measure about an inch and I'm just gonna use an exacto knife and cut it that way I know I have a tool to cut styrofoam real easy it heats up but I don't want to look for it right now I'm gonna go ahead and sand this right here to make it even so now that they've been sanded what I did I sanded them down to about half an inch and they're a lot smaller now that I started an inch because that way when I start sanding and trying to even everything out it's gonna take a lot off of it and I want them to be still a little thick so I went down about half an inch now keep in mind this is a homemade DIY so things are not gonna be perfect so now what I did to this one here as you can see is I just went ahead and I cut a little circle just a little moon I went and I just traced a little moon like this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that part out and sand it down okay so now see they're both cut at the bottom and this is how we're gonna glue these on there just like that and you know what they're not gonna be perfect so the next step is to get I have this one from Dollar Tree this but lightweight spackle and what we're going to do is let me put this bag on here because I don't want to make a huge huge mess and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put spackle on here just to cover all the roughness of the styrofoam and you don't have to do that step if you don't want to I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, I want to and actually this kind of it's kind of dry so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some white paint in there I'm just adding some white paint mainly because this is kind of dry Okay, do you guys see that it's like the consistency of frosting so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting some of this spackle on there and it's not going to be perfect we are once these dry we are gonna go ahead and sand them down these are gonna dry now and once they dry we can sand them down lightly these however I did not add any of the spackle because we are going to go over it with some glitter so this is going to be for our pumpkin mickey caramel apple so you do not need to put any spackle on these these are because I wanted to uh, add like maybe chocolate fake chocolate to these and I don't want you to be able to see all the ridges from the styrofoam so these are going to stay without the spackle so I'm going to let these dry once these dry, you give them a light sanding. Let's begin with the first apple. So this is one of the Hobby Lobby apples. They're much bigger than the Dollar Tree apples, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna use this one. And what I'm gonna do, well, first let me show you what we're gonna use for this. So we're gonna use one of the Hobby Lobby apples. We're gonna use this neon orange glitter, fine glitter. From, and this one says actually extra fine from Walmart we're gonna use the apple barrel harvest orange paint from Walmart we're gonna use this brown paint from Hobby Lobby it's just like 3d paint we're going to use some Mod Podge you can have it doesn't matter if it's gloss or matte where it's gonna get covered so we're gonna use that and then you're going to use your stick whichever you want to use whether you want to use these or if you want to use a skewer the skewers are much thinner so these are meant for caramel apples so I would recommend that you use one of these or I have these that I had bought a few years back at Michael's and these are so adorable look at how cute they are they look like little sticks 
So I'm probably gonna use this one, but I will make the hole with this here. So we're definitely gonna need some of these little paint brushes. And so we're also going to use some low temp glue and let's begin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna take the stick off yet. Now you can leave your apple just like this and cover it with Mod Podge and then put your glitter, but I don't wanna take a chance that you're gonna be able to see the green underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint mine orange. You're not gonna be able to see some of the green if some of the glitter doesn't adhere to it. So this is why I'm painting it the orange. And as a matter of fact, I might even glue these guys on now before I finish painting it. The length of how far apart you want them, that will depend on you. So let's see. Put your stick on. This is a little off. Right there. And then I can guide myself. So I think I'm gonna do it right there. So once you painted your apple, if you painted your apple, you don't, really don't need to do this step. I just, I just did it, but you don't have to. Um, once it's dry, then you're gonna go ahead and use your Mod Podge and Mod Podge all over it. Put Mod Podge all over your, your apple, including your ears, and then just start sprinkling some of this glitter on there. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do a second coat. <laughs> Don't do what I did. I went way overboard with the Mod Podge and I didn't feel like opening this thing here. But I'm going to open this and uh, use the little sprinkle on there because look it. And then my ceiling fan's on so I don't know what's going on with me today. I am making a big old mess. But I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to hit it with a second coat. Now I'm going to take my stick out because... I don't want this stick to stay glued on here. I'm gonna be using the other one. I'm just using this just so I can do all this. But once this dries, I'll put this stick back in and then I'll do a second coat of this, of the glitter, and then we'll let it dry. So here is the apple. I let it dry actually 24 hours and look at how it looks. This is two coats of the glitter. So now we're gonna draw the face and this is just freehand, just doing some little squares. We're gonna move on to our Minnie Mouse candy apple and really quickly I want to show you so this apple here that I have is still wet but I went ahead and I I didn't paint this one I just went ahead and I put glue all over it and then I sprinkled glitter I left it just like this and this is two coats so far um, it's not perfect but you can wait for it to dry and then go over it again with some glue and then do your sprinkle uh, glitter again. Let that dry. If you don't want fallout, then go ahead and um, just put glue all over it and let it dry. And the glue dries clear so you won't see like the white glue on there. But you can also use a spray adhesive. That way the glitter won't fall off. You won't have a lot of fallout. So yeah, this is how I did this one. You don't have to paint it if you don't want to. As you can tell, the difference, you know, you can't really tell a great deal. This one might be a little darker, but that's because I painted underneath that uh, orange color. But just an idea um, if you wanted to do it like this and not paint it. Okay, so let's move on to our Minnie Mouse. So what are we going to need for this one? So for this one, you're going to need also an apple and your uh, sticks, whichever skewer sticks you want to use. And then we're going to use the paint Melted Chocolate by Apple Barrel. And we're going to use some Gloss Mod Podge. I also have some regular white glue. And then I have some purple glitter from Dollar Tree. So these are the styrofoams that I put the light spackle on there. And then I let it dry 
when it was completely dry then I went ahead and I lightly sanded it so it kind of smooths it out but when you paint it it'll still look like chocolate like if you dipped it in chocolate but if you don't want to do this part again you can use like some thick foam or cardboard to create the ears and put them on there if you don't want the mess of the styrofoam because this does make a lot of mess but anyways you're going to need your ears you're going to need foam sheets now i just grabbed these foam sheets from dollar tree these are really really thin you want something a little thicker so i'm going to show you how i'm going to use the foam we're going to need purple and orange from here and then because this is going to be the witch mini caramel apple um i i am terrible at freehanding stuff so i went ahead and i printed some bows from the um, internet i just put in their Minnie Mouse bow and I found these so we're going to be using a template basically like that all right so let's begin so let's start off with our foam sheets so what I did is I just freehand the witch hats as you guys can see look at how thin this is so the Dollar Tree foam is really 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 thin this is just me freehanding it so what I did was I like the way my shape came out so I cut that one out and then I just traced that one that I did like this and that way I can get a whole bunch of them so there is the bow so what I did was I went ahead and I went up to the window where the light is at and then I put my foam on there and then I put it up against and now you could see through the foam and I just drew a whole bunch of these bows don't worry about the middle you don't have to draw that little line there as you can see here I just cut a couple of little oval shapes because we're going to glue that right on top of our bow in the center to make it look kind of 3d so that's what we're going to do with that see this is what it looks like when we're done but let me show you how i got to this we're going to do this step first so i have here are my witch hats i think i'm just going to glue two of them together now you can use white glue to glue them i i'm not going to do that i'm going to use just my hot glue and it's on low temp because i i don't want to wait for it to dry but we're just going to go ahead and stack them together like on top like this our two little hats after you cut them so i'm just going to add some glue on here just a little bit all right so there it is so now it's a little thicker but if you have say if it's not cut evenly then you can go around with your scissors and just even out your little hat your little witch hat but this is how our hat looks now we have our bow and this is just two little bows glued together and then i did my little oval shape right here like this and i cut two little oval shapes and i glued them on top one on top of the other and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and glue it right here in the center the oval shape right here just put a little bit of glue like this okay so then you have it on there like that and then you're going to glue this right on your hat so i'm just going to add a little bit of glue back here just like that and then you glue that on your hat just like that and see now you have your little witch hat for your mini mouse okay so now we're going to work on our apple i have two apples here because i'm going to do two of the same I always make one for my daughter so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do equal parts melted chocolate from Apple Barrel and the Mod Podge gloss in this little container here and then we're gonna drizzle it on top so the bottom part doesn't really matter because we're gonna go ahead and use glitter on there but I'm just gonna go ahead and just if it drips down to the bottom and it co coats the whole entire apple then I'm okay with that And I'm doing the gloss because I want it to look a little shiny. As a matter of fact, I forgot I have to put my ears on there. So we'll put our ears on right now. That way we can coat it with the ears on there as well. Okay, friends. So I put my ears on. Now let me tell you a little tip. When you are putting your ears on, make sure that you get the best part of the apple. So this is like the front side of the apple. So I got the best part. Like this side over here is a little warped. And so I always go... For the best looking part of the apple and then when I glue them on I make sure I hold on to them and then as the glue seeps out just try to wipe off as much as you can now if you have gaps what you can do is you can use some of the caulking um, the caulking um, 
stuff that they sell like at Dollar Tree or some of the light spackle and go over it like back here you see I could do it right here I'm not going to do that this one's gonna be for me and honestly it's gonna be facing the back nobody's gonna see that but look at the front how it looks so you can do that once it dries and you go ahead and sand it down and then you paint it so what I'm gonna do is I have already I have mixed my Mod Podge and the paint and I'm just going to drizzle you know what let me put them right in there like this and then I'm just gonna drizzle it right on top like this you can also instead of doing all that just dab your brush in there and just you know go for it matter of fact you know what I'm just gonna brush it on so you don't have to do the drizzle method this is all just a learning process even for me this is all trial and error for me I'm just you know learning as I go as well and teaching you guys some of the mistakes that I make I always like to show you guys the mistakes that I make that way you guys don't have to make them friends while my apples are drying I realized that I forgot to get the little candies that go on the bottom of Minnie Mouse. This is just the glitter vase filler that they sell at Dollar Tree. You can use that and cut those down and put them as candies. So now it's dry. I'm gonna add some white glue and I'm just gonna add it all the way around halfway down on my apple. This is why I said the bottom wasn't important to um, add your chocolate paint or your brown paint on there. But um, I went ahead and I did it anyways because it dripped all the way down and then I smoothed it out with a foam brush. And you can tell the bottom doesn't really matter. And back here it doesn't matter because it's going to get covered with glitter. Um, you can see right there a little drip. But you know what? It's fine. It looks like chocolate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go about halfway and then I'm just going to smooth out my glue. You never want to put too much glue on here to where it's like dripping because then it'll slide off with the glitter and you'll be able to see it. Friends, I wanted to show you, I found the heating tool that I was telling you guys about. They sell this heating tool at Hobby Lobby this is a styrofoam cutter as you guys can see this gets really hot and I'm gonna show you really quickly how easy this is to cut so if you wanted to use instead of um, an exacto knife to cut your styrofoam and you know you make a big old mess when you do that look look at how easy this is see how it's going through it just melts just like butter see that look at that see that's how easy that is to cut. So I, what I did is I ended up cutting some of those little uh, vase fillers from Dollar Tree, the styrofoam ones, and that's what I'm gonna use for my candy. And I just use this heating tool to cut right in the middle. It cuts it nice and clean, but I have cut it before with an X-Acto knife straight down the middle or even with some scissors, just cut it right in the middle. Just be very, very careful not to cut yourself. But yeah, if you use this, be careful not to burn yourself. But they do sell this at Hobby Lobby. This, as you guys can see, I put a coat of white glue on the glitter because I don't want any fallout. So I'm just letting this dry. All right, friends. So this is already completely dry. As you guys can see, look at how pretty. Oh my goodness. It looks like real chocolate. It looks like a real caramel apple. I'm going to go ahead now and glue my little hat onto my Minnie Mouse. I cut down a little more the ribbon part of the bow here so it can kind of sit a little flush on her right here on the apple and then I'm just gonna add some hot glue and glue her on there glue the hat on there and then I'm gonna use these little styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree that I cut in half and place them throughout the caramel apple and I use let's see one two three four of these little styrofoam balls and then I just cut them in half and I'm just gonna start gluing all right
right, so here it is. So here's the difference between the sticks here. If you want just a regular caramel apple stick, this is what it looks like. And I'll definitely give you guys a closer view of these. But for right now, I'm just showing you really quickly. And then here's this one with those uh, witch looking sticks here that I got at Michael's. They're for caramel apples as well. But do you see how cute those are? Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. This is my take on it. Okay, friends. So now we're gonna be doing some regular caramel apples and we're just gonna have fun with this one. So I'm gonna be using the Dollar Tree apples. So I'm gonna be using this paint here. This is the Apple Barrel Classic Caramel. And then again, I'm gonna be using some of that gloss Mod Podge. And I don't have very much left, so I'm going to use whatever I have left in here. So let me show you what else we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Still Cut Oats. We're also going to be using white puffy paint, the brown puffy paint. I have just regular glue so I can adhere the nuts to. And then I have these marshmallows that I made that um, I may use on here. So these apples are going to be more for like fall or any time of the year. And I'm doing one green and one red because that's what I have. But I'm just going to go ahead and add some paint. So here's the consistency that we have. It's really runny as you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'm going to do one apple at a time. I'm just going to let that one dry and then I'll go. I'll hit it again with some more paint up here and then the bottom I don't care because that's gonna get full of nuts so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one down and then I'm just going around this apple on the outside I'm gonna let that dry just just a tiny bit and then I'll add the nuts on there I don't want to add the nuts now because then that will end up sliding right off and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to wait just a little bit and then I'll put the nuts on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour some nuts onto this one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this red apple here. And then I'm just going to stick it in a bowl. Then I'm just going to grab some of my nuts and I'm just going to throw it right on there. Right on top of this apple here so then I'm just gonna set that to the side let it dry once it dries then I can pop off the stem and add my skewer in there or my caramel apple stick in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it I'm gonna probably use these here as if they were melted chocolate and just go over it once it dries we'll I'll show you and then I'll probably just go ahead and stick some of the marshmallows on top kind of like a rocky road type of thing, you know. These are dry, and now we're just gonna decorate. So I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm not even gonna talk, I'm just gonna show you how I decorate these two because the video has dragged on too long already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate and let you guys see how I do this. So here are my caramel apples. They are completely done and dry and I think they came out so cute. I absolutely love them. So here is my Mickey caramel apple. I think this came out 
amazing and as you can see I just added a little bow at the top and then in the middle of some of the bows I just cut some of that vase filler in half and I glued it in the center of the bow and as you can see that's what I did with the Minnie Mouse on the bottom just those vase fillers cut in half and I think they just look amazing I love it and then the back ones the caramel apples all I did was I used that um, light spackle and I added some white paint to it and I was the consistency of frosting and I just frosted it just I went around the top and then I added some marshmallows some of that um, steel oats and then I just used the um, brown paint from Hobby Lobby like chocolate and basically that is it this is what they look like this one as you guys can see is just painting it and putting your glue on there and then putting your steel oats on there and the other one as you can see here it bled a little with the red apple with the, the white paint but those are the Dollar Tree apples which again are much smaller but anyway these are my apples I hope you guys like this tutorial I had to kind of fast forward it towards the end because it was dragging on too long but if you guys want to see me do more uh, caramel apples Disney inspired ones then give this video a thumbs up and I want to thank you friends for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye friends